Hi, welcome once again to this video series of Why Acoustics. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about two important topics, which is harmonics and octave. Now, in the previous session, we studied about the sinusoidal wave, how the sound propagates in forms of compression and rarefaction and uh, the difference between the low frequency and high frequency and all that. So those are the theory that we have studied. Now, in reality, how the sound is going to be there. Okay. Now, the harmonics is an important topic. Now, let us analyze the speech and the music. Okay. If you are going to study the speech or the music, the, com the waveform that is formed is very complex. Now, let us study how it is going to be. Now, let us say you have a microphone which is connected to an amplifier and the output of that is connected to an oscilloscope. Now, when you speak, the sound waves which is picked by the microphone is amplified and it is going to show a waveform pattern something like this. But unfortunately, none of our voice is perfect like a sine wave, like a perfect wave. It is going to be a very complex waveform. So, which means the speech as well as the music is a very complex waveform. Okay, how does it get complex? And that is where the harmonics is. Now here, you can see there are two different curves. One is uh, of frequency one, F1, okay, with a particular amplitude and wavelength. Now, there is another frequency, which is F2, which is higher frequency. You remember, it is more compressed, so it's higher frequency, which is having double. That means this F2 is double, because you can see when it is completed half cycle, here, this has completed one complete cycle, half cycle equal to, and the amplitude is lesser here. Now, if we have two waveforms like this, when you combine this, the pattern of the waveform is going to be like this. Now, the first waveform, this we call it as fundamental frequency, the fundamental frequency, and we call it as a fundamental waveform. And this one, we call it as Second harmonic and this is and same way we will have third harmonic, fourth harmonic like that. So which means a particular frequency it will produce a fundamental frequency and it will also produce a second harmonic and it will also produce third harmonic, fourth, fifth like that. And when you combine, see here for simplicity we have just shown two waveform which is F1 and F2. But in reality, for example, if I, I have to analyze my voice uh, uh, waveform, it is going to have a fundamental frequency, uh, second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth, fifth, sixth, like that. And this is going to be a very complex. And this is why each of our voice is different and unique. That's how we are able to recognize our friend's voice, which are different because the harmonics are different. Okay, that is a reality. So the harmonics is going to have a fundamental and multiple second, third harmonics. And this is a very important thing because in analyzing the sound waves in terms of uh, harmonics, it will be fundamental, okay, which is the first frequency. Then we have second, third fourth harmonics okay now if you see the pattern harmonics suppose if this frequency is 100 hertz okay the second harmonic will be times 2 okay which is 200 hertz okay and the third it will be 300 okay that is this plus this is going to be third harmonic fourth harmonic will be this plus this okay so which means okay uh, to make it uh, simpler let us do like this okay this will be the addition of these two okay same way the fourth will be 400 hertz which is the sum of this and this okay so which means when you produce a single frequency of 100 hertz it is going to have multiple harmonics okay that is how nature produces harmonics. 
Okay, this is how the harmonics of a particular sound is going to be. Now coming to octave. So what is octave? So octave is a very simple term. Octave is times two frequency. Okay, is doubling of frequency. That is when you double a particular frequency, it is an octave. Now let us say we have the frequency range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, right? Now if you take this frequency, the next octave which is double is 40 hertz. Double of this is 80 hertz. So which means this is one octave. Same way this is one octave. Okay, 80 to 160 hertz is one octave. So if you go until 20 hertz, there will be almost 10 octaves. Okay, so which means the audio frequency which our human ears can listen is between 20 to 20 kilohertz. It will consist of 10 octaves. Okay, so harmonics and octaves are very important in acoustics, even related to music also. Because in music, this is widely used the octave in pianos and other things. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, particular session. If you like this, please click thumbs up and subscribe for the subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.